Hello, in this video I am going to derive the indirect utility function. We're going to start with the utility function. Consumer's utility U is given by x times y. x is units of good x, y is units of good y. The consumer has a budget constraint and in general form M is just a consumer's income. This first term here P subscript X is the price per unit of good X. X is units of good X. Then over here we got P subscript Y, the price of good Y, and Y is units of good Y. First thing we're going to do is get the marginal utilities. MU, the marginal utility of good X, is the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X. In this case we just get back Y. The marginal utility of good Y once again we take a partial derivative, this time with respect to good y, and we get back at x. So the key in solving uh, for the indirect utility function is as follows. We're going to set up our equilibrium condition for the consumer, which is just given by this expression. the marginal utility per dollar of good X equals the marginal utility per dollar of good Y when the consumer is maximizing her, his or her utility subject to the budget constraint. What we're going to do now is make some substitutions. Plug in Y for the marginal utility of good X. Plug in X for the marginal utility of Y. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to simplify this. We're going to solve it for y and then x. So solving for y, so if we were to solve this for y, we're going to get y equals price of good x divided by the price of good y times x. Okay. The next step is we're going to take this condition and plug it into the budget constraint. Up here we're going to plug this into the budget constraint. So plugging this into the budget constraint the budget constraint is normally the price of good y times y. Well we're going to substitute now in for y this expression Okay, and now we're going to simplify this uh, by solving for x. So we're going to take the budget constraint now and solve for x. Here, are these y, these uh, price of good y terms cancel. Now dividing by 2 times the price of good x, dividing that through, we get the following expression. This happens to be the demand for good x. Okay, the demand for good x in this problem is a function of income and the price of good x. Okay, uh, again the goal here is to find the indirect utility function. So let's continue on that. We're going to go back to this condition here. And this time we're going to solve for x. So simplifying this down and solving for x. We get this expression right here. As before, we're going to plug this into the budget constraint where we see an x in the budget constraint. We're going to plug in this stuff right here. This 
So making my substitution now into the budget constraint. Now we're going to solve this for y. Okay, as before, the, the couple price terms cancel here. You're going to be left with m equals 2 times the price of good y times y just solving for y. y equals consumer's income m divided by 2 times the price of good y. This is the demand equation for good y. And now we're almost done. The next step we're going to do is we're going to take the demand equation for good x and the demand equation for good y and we're going to plug it into the utility function. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Here's our utility function. So where I see an x, I'm now just going to put in m divided by 2 times the price of good x. Where I see a y, I'm going to plug in the demand equation for good y. So let me write down the utility function down here. Let me scroll down a little bit. And let's make our substitutions now. We can go ahead and simplify. And this is the consumer's indirect utility function. This will tell us the consumer's maximum utility from a given amount of income and market prices, price of good X and price of good Y. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.